Good morning, Year 6. It's Mr Nicholson here for the uh, the final remote learning lesson of the week. Um, it's an art lesson as usual for a Friday afternoon. Um, as I said last week, um, you might not have your sketchbook, so if you have some plain paper that would be brilliant. But if not, you know, and you have to use your topic book, uh, the lines don't really matter. It's absolutely fine. So just pause the video here and write in the short date and the title. So it's 22.1.21, lots of ones and twos, and the title is Art Canopic Jar Design. Okay, welcome back. So let's move on with the lesson. Uh, normally in school, I hate saying this really because it's disappointing, um, we would have spent some time using clay um, to make a canopic jar, and we would have painted it and hopefully it would have come up something like this if I just put it on the screen um, so as I said unfortunately we, we can't be in school at the moment and we can't do something like this um, you know a canopic jar with with a lid um, and a pot inside and maybe some hieroglyphics and one of the gods heads on the top um, so what we're going to do we'll just do a little bit of designing and a bit of drawing instead and come up with our our own canopic jar. So I spoke to you a little bit about canopic jars in the lessons um, in English when we talked about mummification and the process involved. So I'll just remind you of that information now. Okay, so when the mummification process was taking place, the canopic jars were used to store four of the organs from the body. So the liver, the lungs, the intestines and the stomach after they were washed and dried in salt, um, they were wrapped in cloth and then put in these special canopic jars. The canopic jars had four different heads representing the four sons of Horus. So Happy was the baboon-headed god and he looked after the lungs. Imseti was the human-headed god who looked after the liver. Duamatef was the jackal-headed god and that one looked after the stomach and Quebeseniuf was a god with the head of a falcon and that canopic jar was used to store the intestine. What you could do for today's design is you could use one of these four in front of you if you want to or what I've been doing is just using Google Chrome and I just typed into the browser canopic jar designs and just doing a little bit of computing and a bit of a web search if you click on images uh, it gives you lots of pictures of different canopic jars and what you could do is you could scroll down until you find one that you'd like to draw and this one here is the one that I've had a go at doing so I'll show you mine as a bit of a waggle before you have a go at doing one yourself so this is the canopic jar that I've chosen. I'll just go back to the visualizer and I'll take you through the steps that I used to produce a drawing that I'm really, really proud of. OK, so the first step that I did was just to sketch my canopic jar out using, I had a sketch pencil, um, but you can use any pencil for this. Um, and I just used this to sketch all the lines that I needed um, for the face and um, for the head on the lid and for the shape of the jar and I put in some hieroglyphs as well um, and I spent a lot of time on that because I did it very carefully I wanted it to look symmetrical on both sides to stand up straight and to have the right shape so that was step one and then I just got some colouring pencils and I coloured my canopic jar design in and I didn't have a gold colouring pencil, so to get a kind of goldy effect, I just shaded in my canopic jar with um, a blend of yellow and orange. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And then I used some blue, some green, some red and some black on the lid as well. So that was step two. And then the final stage, the final step, and I did this... Um, in last week's art lesson as well. I just think it looks really nice if you just go over the lines that you made with your sketch pencil uh, with some sort of pen. 
I actually used one of the school handwriting pens for this because I didn't want it, didn't want it to be too thick. Um, so if you've got one of those, great. If not, you could always use um, a black biro, or you could just go over your pencil lines a little bit darker. Um, and then, like any true artist, I just signed my name at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's my three steps that I did after a little bit of searching for a design that I wanted to use. And yeah, I'm really happy with my canopic jar design that I've done for art this afternoon. So now it's your turn. I'm sure you can do um, something just as good, if not better, than me. Um, have a little bit of a search online, choose a design that you like, and then have a go at recreating it on your paper. Um, and all the teachers, I'm sure, would really enjoy if you could send in some photos of your artwork um, for Mr. Webb, Miss Owen, Mr. Long, and myself to look at. Okay, if you want something else to do this afternoon, don't forget to tune in to Mr. Hamlin's Celebration Assembly on the Carve Your Head YouTube page. And then have a big rest this, this weekend. You've done so much hard work this week. Um, enjoy your weekend and have some great fun. And all the Year 6 teachers will see you again next week. Okay, take care everybody. Goodbye.